And then could you elaborate more on the, the family situation? It just sounds like you've done so many things. Yeah. And you're doing so, so many things. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So my, my whole, like, one of my mottos, when I was in med school the first time, my back in the day we had screensavers, and my <laughs> screensaver was called, um, I, I wrote Seize the Day, you know, and, like, so my whole life it's been, I've, really wanted to make sure that I made the most of every day and I got done in this I kind of as from a young child I had this concept that life is short and that you want to do the most you can while you're here and um, so the point at which since I was forced to stop medicine um, uh, because of health reasons I figured well I'm not going to look at these health reasons as a, a problem I'm going to say this is maybe a sign I'm a, I'm a religious person and I and I decided that I'm gonna I'm gonna consider that this is something you know that is that what I, what I you know God what I call his, I, I say the word Hashem because I'm an Orthodox Jew but what mm-hmm. God what, I feel like God is bringing this to me in order to um, in order to let me let, let me look at the good in this and so I decided that in this time where I'm dealing with my health maybe it would be a good time to start you know a family and focus on family which is what I did and sure. so I so I had my children and um I it was a, a beautiful amazing wonderful experience and I and I you know tried to be the best mother I could possibly be I went to you know mommy and me and did all the all the things I'd ever dreamed of being a mother um, sure. which I wouldn't have been able to do you know I wouldn't have been able to do as much I think if I'm not going to be in school if I'm not able to be in school I'm going to make the most of my time not in school which is so that's what I did um, and then now as my children, I still have a baby. Um, sure. I have children, you know, ranging up to, um, age 11, but I, I, um, I figured that I would want to, um, I figured out how to be a mother and sort of what, what the, what the best parts of being a mother are, what, what I really need to do and all these things. And, but at a certain point with a growing family, we did need more money and I, yeah. had to, I was going to have to work in some way. Um, and I, and I, and I thought, you know, I wanted, I thought about doing these sort of, you know, like people talk about, you know, like these ways of sort of not working and making money, but, you know, I just wasn't even, I was always, I just always felt like I want to be a doctor. Like I, I, I can't, I couldn't give up. I'm sure I could probably come up with other ways to make money. Um, but I just, I, I felt like I was meant, I've always felt like I was meant to be a physician and I, and I couldn't. Anything I would try to start, anything I try to do, I would like always in my brain. I was thinking, I wish, you know, I wish I was in medicine. So sure. I decided, I decided, and I spoke with my husband, you know, about. I mean, he, I spoke with him about that, and he wanted to, you know, he was happy to support me and my goal of, you know, wanting to be a physician. So we talked about it, and we talked about it with our kids about how to you know, what medicine means and, you know, everyone, so I had a family, like a family meeting with the kids and sort of talked to them about going back to school and the benefits and some of the challenges that we might face. And we decided as a family that that they were supportive of me trying it out. Wow. I told them, you know, at any point that you feel this is compromising me being your mother, you know, too much, you know, I will stop. And, um, And I check in with them regularly to make sure that they still are on board and okay with how things are going and they know that sure. and they know that at any point they can say, you know, it's too much, you know, I can't, I need more of you. This isn't working. Sure. Um, but so, it hasn't gotten, mm-hmm. they, yeah, it hasn't gotten to that point. Wow. That's, you know, and that's, um, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm just taking everything that you just said in a little bit. Um, and what I think is really you know, refreshing and different about how you're speaking personally is a lot of people feel like they don't have that choice. Like this whole time as you're speaking, you're, you keep it very clear that your family is first and you've been constantly checking in with them. And that, that's like a, a, a flavor or a way of thinking that I haven't necessarily heard um, and I think that's allowed you to maintain your happiness and well-being. So what message, you know, would you give to these moms or even dads who have families in medicine and trying to maintain that balance? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's important for everyone to be able to express their feelings, you know. Don't have an environment where um, where where people are afraid to, you know, don't say, like, well, I have a test tomorrow, so you can't, you can't bring up anything stressful today, you know. Like, I, I mean, I think it's, it's easy to try to sort of push things off and push your family time off, but I think that it's important for if every family member knows that they can be heard at any time and that their needs are going to be addressed, then they won't even, they'll think, they'll make, take it upon themselves. You know what, I know mommy or my wife or my husband has a test tomorrow, so I'm not even going to, I know, I'm, I'm going to bring it, if they know their needs are going to be heard at some point, they, they might say it the day before your test. And just, I think that, again, it's one of those things where if it's the right thing to do, you know, I've had to deal with my children during this past finals. I, I had maybe like a three-hour thing the night before one of my finals that I just didn't thought I had to take care of my, my child. And I thought, you know what, like it, it, I'm doing the right thing, and it's all going to be okay. And I still did fine on my final, you know. And so, like, I think that, you know, like if you do take care of your family and it's the right thing, it's all going to work out in the end. And if your kids know and your family knows that, that's really important. And then yeah. also I would say – also I would say that – um um like having my family sees this, we see this as a family goal. The medical medical school isn't about. It's not just my goal. Like we we it, we view it as like a team. I view my family as a team, and that we're working together to for, that I should be, you know be, they they can take pride in my accomplishments because they believe that you know they're helping me help people. And so you know like just like you might like donate money to your favorite presidential candidate or, or like you know help them get elected. Like that's kind of how we view this whole medical and. Endeavor. Like everyone's doing their part to help, you know, me get through medical school. But we view it like it's not like it's not really about me. It's like we've taken it all on as like, okay, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, you know, do this. I'm gonna do. My husband, you know, really views it as I'm going to help for this cause that we're doing together. And um, and because of that, we have a common goal. It's not like we're we're not like constantly fighting with each other. No one feels left out because we're working together. Wow, that's awesome.